I owe you my thanks. You saved my life. Hey, who is this guy? Um, well, you see... I've made arrangements at the inn. We can discuss things further there. You'll come, won't you? when the ship sank with you still on it. Seriously, I was pretty worried there for a minute. I'm glad you made it. It sank faster than I thought it would. I was a little freaked out myself. You almost died and you were just a little freaked out? There's something wrong with you. Or that Zoggy weirdo who attacked us. Weirdo is putting it mildly. What's his deal, anyway? That's what I'd like to know. It's nice to have fans, but this is ridiculous. It looked like he went down with the ship, though. Maybe that was the last of him. I don't know. Common sense just doesn't seem to apply to those kinds of people. Man, I really don't want to see him again. Well, even if we do, he'll be gunning for Yuri, not us. I've got nothing to do with this. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Have we met somewhere? Convenient time for amnesia. I know somebody who can fix that for you. Amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. Are you crazy? Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. It was most upsetting. Liar! I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the Council? Flynn... It's settled, then. I bid you all good day. Who does that guy think he is? And who the hell is he? Settle down. This is... This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. <laughs> 
What? I'm only one of the candidates. It's true. With the passing of the previous Emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir to the throne. R really Yes. An alleged Imperial heir captured by a so-called magistrate. That's interesting. I see. Then this incident means that I... A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? <sighs> do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in plain sight. Yuri. And what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri, to change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below, then we said we'd gain honor and trust and fix the Empire from within. Remember? So, in order to get ahead in life, I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? It's because I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? <clears throat> How is anything different than it was before you joined the Knights? Wait! I'm coming too! <sighs> I've done it again. I only want for him to move on with his life. To quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. What do you intend to do next? Would it be all right if I go with him? Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels with Yuri. The Empire, the world. I've changed as well. Lady Estelise. Understood. You there, young man. Who? M me? Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Okay! Is it really all right? I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. You believe in him, don't you? I do. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry. Damn, he knows how to get to me. I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. Guess I should look for clues about the Blastiocore. The way he looks, Barbo should stick out like a sore thumb walking around in town. But it'd sure help if anyone saw where he and his gang were headed. Come to think of it, I wonder what happened to Raven back in Rago's palace. I guess he panicked and ran when the Dragon Rider and the Knights showed up. Hey, it's him. Huh? <laughs> hey there! Long time no see! Isn't there something else you should be saying? Something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? I'm just terribly misunderstood.
honest. You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. You might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out too. You had a comeback for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the Knights are gonna throw you back in jail. Ha! <laughs> the Knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the Northwest not too long ago. The Knights can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. By the way, what was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. What is an apatheia? Supposed to be like a really strong core. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. I see. An apatheia. Oh! Yuri! Hey! Over here! Ugh, I'll get you, old man! Hmm. Maybe I'd best be off now. Yep, the Amazonist has emerged. Wait, damn it! I'm a bit too senseless! <sighs> Why'd you let him get away? He said he's terribly misunderstood. What? What does that mean? Oh, he got away! I'll catch that bugger one of these days. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. You all right? Just let me take a little break. Sure, you can have a little one. Then we've got to go. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the lower quarters blast you. Did you get a lead on where to go next? I heard that a shady group from a guild was headed to the northwest. It might be them. To the northwest of here? The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. What could they want to do in a place like that? Hmm, good question. And yet, you still want to go? I'm just saying, we should go and check it out. Hey, Carol, do you know anything else about that city you said was destroyed in an earthquake? Just rumors. Supposedly, it was some guild's headquarters about ten years ago. Which guild was that? Sorry, I can't help you there. I've never heard of an earthquake that destroyed an entire city. Well, Ospio is across the ocean. Maybe the information just never made it that far? Hmm, I wonder.
Man, this place is a total wreck. Do you seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. Again? That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades! That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders! Man! Alright! I finally found you! <laughs> Are the Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me! Aw, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little lost? That's a good one. You know you just ran away. I didn't run away, I swear! Still making excuses, huh? It's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I mean it! Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. You always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Shut up! You shut your mouth! Huh! Even we've already fired you. Wait! You have been warned by the Hunting Blades. Leave this area at once. If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Man! This still doesn't explain what the Hunting Blades are doing here. Good point. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? She never said we weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. At any rate, the Blood Alliance doesn't seem to be here. Let's have a look around. up like this they said they said i was f fired carol keep your spirits up i can't be happy anymore it's like her words are a dagger in my heart she was just worried it'd be too dangerous for you there's still hope huh y you think so Ugh, whatever i don't care about what she thinks the problem is your guild right i get it right yeah i don't care about nan this hurts to watch I'm rooting for you, Carol. What sort of Blastia is this? Hey, get your grubby mitts off it. Of course, it's slightly different from the norm, but it looks like a type of warp Blastia. Its activating mechanism is... let's see... Huh? What's the matter? There's no activation switch. It's properly equipped with a core, and it doesn't look like it's the type where you can activate it by removing the core. So maybe there's an activation switch located somewhere else? Perhaps, if there were another Blastia like this one in this town, it wouldn't be too unusual for there to be some device to manage all of them at once. Ah, oh, so we can't activate it then. Too bad. Huh? Why is it too bad? I just had a hunch it would lead to something interesting. Lastia isn't a toy, you know. Couldn't we just look for the device that's managing it? Yes. Sure, maybe we can find it. Was this town really destroyed by an earthquake? The buildings all look kind of strange. 
Yeah, they don't look like they collapsed from the ground shaking. Something's weird. Yeah, so how were they destroyed then? Got me. Maybe we can find out by asking someone who used to live in the town. That's not really why we're here though, so why should we care? You actually have a point there. Captain Carroll to dirty his hands on such a filthy door. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, well, shall we? Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and oops, no more foot. What? Whoa! Eh, looks fine to me. Let's go inside. Your test dummy? What do the hunting blades mainly do as a guild? Like their name says, they make their living hunting monsters. It's not like there's any shortage of monsters once you're outside the barriers. Business must be booming. Yeah, they definitely get a lot of commissions. But the hunting blades aren't killing monsters just because someone asked them to. Monsters are evil. This evil must be punished. That's the creed of the hunting blades. I wonder if any of them are doing it just for their own personal grudges against monsters. Oh yeah, a lot of people. Like Nan's parents were killed right before her eyes when she was a kid. Huh, it'd be hard not to hold a grudge after something like that. What's this do? Get your grubby mitts off it. I don't want to have to tell you again. It seems like it might be an activation switch for the Warp Blastia upstairs. Nothing's happening. It doesn't have enough air. Not enough air. I wonder if that ring I got in the Shikos ruins might be able to do anything. Ah, the Sorcerer's Ring. I'm not sure. But you might as well give it a try. It worked! Maybe that means we'll be able to use the Warp Blasty upstairs. Let's go. device after all. Then hurry up and... Hold your horses. This is just like in the Shikos ruins. If you don't fill up the core with air, it won't work. 
Ah, so I should use the sorcerer's ring. Right. It looks like the Blood Alliance. Isn't here after all. Those guys are the Hunting Blades. Th that man. 
We saw him in Daydon Hold. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? What? No way, man! He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh. So how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal Strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance. Followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes, it is. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? What makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Won't go back or can't go back? It sounded like you were fired. No way! I'd been planning on leaving for a while. Uh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah, if they wanted to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah. A lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary, too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna... follow them and see what they're up to? Uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. are from the late Elechasm civilization. It must be a very old town. You seem to know a lot about these things. As always, 
It's such a shame they just let this city fall apart like this. Do you really think we're in any position to be sightseeing around this moldy old city? We do have things we need to be doing. Then shouldn't we be focusing on them instead of this little tour? Oh, wow. That round roof is using the Leon method first developed by Emperor Heliorus IV. But I guess we should do something about that first. Yeah. I didn't have a chance to ask you this, but... You mean me? Why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor? Why? Oh, yeah. Stoll wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted, right? Yeah, at that point, your journey should have ended. Well, uh, you see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Quite sure. Wasn't it Rego? Huh? That villain? Yoder was on Rego's ship, and Yoder's the Imperial Prince. Yeah, so. I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoder. Though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know either. Well, that's okay. But what about you? Are you sure you don't want to go back? Well, I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer. So, uh... Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia core back yet. That's true. But isn't that my business? Can't I help out? Mm, yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you. Hmm, how interesting. Estelle looks as interested in cities as always. Estelle, come on, let's stick together. I'm fine. The buildings are run down, it's overgrown. And this place is seriously built like a maze. With all these obstacles in the way, it's pretty tough to go where you want to go. Huh? Estelle! Sorry, I got sidetracked. I thought I just said to stick together. You all need to be more careful. I've never seen anyone get lost so easily. Yourself. We can rest here and have a look around. Seriously, what's going on? Ever since we got here... If a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Yes, thank you. I'm still doing okay. This is air. What? I 
thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High-density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. But we still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. Let's look at the paper again. is causing it and probably this strange feeling as well huh he's similar to the ones at Emmet Hill in Capua Noor. is it broken when a blastia breaks it loses its ability to take in air there's no way it would get like this so what's going on I don't know what could he be trying to do Monster? Monster! Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But, but I... <sighs> the barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. A reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here, this isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. <laughs> you don't say. Well now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. The air must be affected him. Looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You won't just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. I 
feel better. The barrier's down! Of course! That dragon freak broke the Blastia! You're dead, freak! Dead! Yeah, that's it. Show me some anger. Show me what a monster's like. Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Take care of someone else's pet. Monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? Oh. <laughs> These are the threads that weave our future. What about Carol? There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag! Master, it's too dangerous! This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life! Stay here now that the Mark has escaped! Damn. 
Something comes up, and it's just poof, you're gone. Always, always running away by yourself. It's not like that. Not like what? Like I said back in Halur. I'm not talking about Halur. If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me. I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri. Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind! I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastio work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense. So I've finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri, but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And 
What will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct. Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit, Yuri Lol, and his accomplices. You, the Swan Brigade. Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> Did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them in the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang, it's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? H hey, get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking! Walk, I say! Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling! Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! <laughs> 